So do you want to just like say your name? Yeah, my name is Cheyenne Zaremba and uh, the title of my piece is In Between the Lines. And it was the first, or the first place contest winner of our first a book inside the story contest, which is yes, pretty exciting. exciting. <laughs> also, your cover art, you submitted the cover art twice now? I've submitted to both, to two issues, yes, I've submitted cover art to two issues. Both of them. Both of them were accepted, been. so that was exactly. very nice. Yeah. That was very nice. Alright, so, uh, how do you want to, like, just give a little summary about your story? Uh, just my like story is about a boy who goes into a bookstore and writes in the front of a book and he ends up getting into a conversation with another person who is going to the bookstore and uh, at the end of the story they end up meeting and uh, becoming friends and then the rest is kind of left to the reader's imagination. You can take it where you will. So um, about your characters, there's a boy who goes to the bookstore every day and he's mute and then there's a blue pen stranger. Mm -hmm. So they're actually like really unique and really developed, Thank especially you. for a short story. Thank so you. like where do you find your inspiration for characters? Well, I read a lot. <laughs> um, so what I normally end up doing is I see a certain characteristic that I like and I try to build a character around that characteristic. So. For the red pen boy, it was not being able to convey your thoughts to people in a normal way. So he has to come up with something else and it frustrates him. So he's kind of like a, the depressed one. And then for the blue pen boy, his characteristic is kind of more happy-go-lucky. He's, he's that one friend who's always there. So, And whenever I develop a character, I always end up, as an artist, imagining what they would look like first. So my happy characters usually have light hair, light eyes, light skin, where you know my depressed characters will have darker hair, darker eyes, and I just think that's kind of how I display what I imagine their personal characteristics are as physical characteristics. Yeah. So you said you're an artist too, and mm -hmm. of course you've done both the cover arts. And so when you write, does a lot of it it's a lot of it visual for you? A lot of it is visual, and it's it's kind of a strange thing because I don't know whether it's just my trait as an artist or if it's something that I do as a writer. When I see people, I always see colors. So someone, and it's not necessarily based on how they're dressed or you know what, what color their hair is, but as their personality grows and as I get to know them, I'll see like, oh, that person is green or I, I think this person is red. And when I write, I definitely write my characters as colors. So I can tell you that the red pen, boy, he's red and the blue pen boy is blue, and it's kind of like, you know, the red is, it's feisty and it's fiery, but it's also, it can be moody, and then the blue is just kind of heavy-go-lucky, you know, it's water, oh yeah, just flowing around, so. And even when I write from my own perspective, where there is no character, it's not necessarily me who's writing, it might be someone else, what I think they're thinking.